Well, it's a long time since I've done one of these little videos. Penny, come here. Sit down. Lie down. Lie down. Good girl. Lie down. Lie down. So, I thought maybe it's about time I did another one for us, folks, eh? So, it's the 1st of August 2021. And to be honest, I'm fed up with hearing about COVID. Vaccinations, dying, not dying, masks, not masks. I don't think they know is the honest answer. And I don't always conspire to these conspiracy theories, but sometimes you do wonder what the great plan is for the world, don't you? Sometimes I do. Anyway, enough of that. A little update for folks really who are sort of interested in what I do and the channel and so forth. Um, Penny, come here. Come on, lie down, lie down. That's a good girl. And Penny and I together, since lambing this year in April, I've kind of really pulled away from the world a bit, to be fair. And um, I spent a lot of time up here this year at the caravan and the shack. I thoroughly enjoyed it, it has been lo lovely, the weather has been very good. So I made a few um, changes and a few alterations to make it a bit more usable. Put some solar panels on the roof. So I've got one on the uh, shed and one on the caravan. And that charge up the batteries. And um, probably need another couple of um, units for the winter time I think. But at the moment, they're doing extremely well at charging the battery up. The inverter, as you see, is a pure sine wave. It's a 300 watt. And it converts the 12 volt battery into a 300 watt. Yeah. Into 240 volts if I need it. So I'm not far away from a uh, telephone mast, so we get good reception up here. Better than cable, actually. Found my own spring which used to actually feed this little place at one time when the people lived here. And this is the famous Coity Cubbon Spring. People originally lived here before I bought it many many years ago. This would have been their water supply. We haven't attested unfortunately today it's with a little E. coli. So I just use for washing really another watering task like for the sheep but it can be drunk. I suppose it could be if I build it. Sheep and lambs have all been weaned. Unfortunately, the big the boys are going to have to go to pay their way now. It's... So these these nice fluffy lambs you saw a few months ago in the springtime. These are all males. They'll have to go shortly to uh, pay for their keep. As much as I like to keep them. It's not a charity I run, we have to be um, self-financing I'm afraid. But they had the best of life that they could have had. I have to fund this uh, world somehow. And um, I did my launch of Volume 1 up at Salty Will and loads of people there. It was a really good day. I got some Volume 3 and um, got some little mugs I like to get rid of. Got some t-shirts and a uh, load of chat and uh, love to see you up there. You weren't there, you missed a good day. Most of them have gone out now, there's a few still to go. I keep asking about another volume, but I'm not going to do another volume. It was quite demanding and I don't know whether I've got the energy anymore. The levels aren't what they were. But I quite enjoyed, enjoyed doing the video, so. We're going to have a fire later on tonight again to, um, so we say, what's the sunset? Because it's quite a pleasant night. Went to the Southern Show yesterday and that was absolutely fabulous. The new venue suits it. Uh, plenty of space, even for COVID warriors. Um, stock were there, there wasn't as many trade stands and a few people didn't come, but the ones who didn't turn up, I felt missed an opportunity. So congratulations to the Kermode family. Rory Kelly for judging, the Supreme Champion and Derek Griffin for winning it. I think it was a very enjoyable day and I did meet a lot of folks I haven't seen for a while. It was quite good to chat. As you probably know, I'm quite good to chat really. You know, it is dribble. So um, I have been spending a lot of time up here. 
and um, I'm not sure about the winter how I'll survive and if I'm going to stay up here or not but I'll do as long as I can. Off grid is an appeal to me but living in the Isle of Man I don't think could ever really be off grid no matter where you are. Up here I've got a 4G mass behind the caravan so I've got a good signal, I've got a computer, I've got a TV, I've got heating, nice bed, running water, hot and cold, toilet system, a shower, um, really isn't much else. So it is a bit roughing it but not in the true sense of the word. And I like going back to this COVID with a vaccine about all the furor over what it is and what the injection is and how they're going to control the world and so forth. I always wonder who they are. It's always they, but nobody seems to know who they are. They are powerful people, whoever they are. And that's for keeping an eye on people with an injection. You don't need an injection. Everybody's got a phone, you know. They can see where you are within a second without having to inject you. But they keep telling me it'll all come true or the answers will be given in the future. Well, I hope it's not in my future anyway. It's a bit selfish as it is. That's the bane of my life, Lolly the goat. She is a pain sometimes. She'll eat everything, knocks everything over. But she's a very good company. She has a friend but died a few years ago. The main thing is I've got a cup of tea and um, nothing else really matters. Health is so, as well. I'm not sure about the vaccination status. Children, I don't know about that one. It's better minds than mine agree or disagree over it. And now here they're rolling out a booster for the virus for the people who've had it a few months ago. It'll be interesting to see how many take up on that particular thing because all the statistics you read these days are there's more people ill with the, who have had the virus protection than the ones who haven't. So it's never how a vaccine used to work in my day. A vaccine helps you, protect you, but this doesn't seem to work at all. And it, they keep telling me it's an experiment. For goodness sake. And all the companies who have done it, the vaccine, don't have to worry about being sued. Yeah. Happy days for them, isn't it? Happy days. Well, it's coming up to half seven. That's my last cup of tea for the night. And um, a little bit more of a chat for the future. Talking about COVID anymore or the plague, but I did hear a rather worrying thing yesterday at the show about the other virus which would be worse than what we've got, which is the virus will affect the financial institutions. And that could really bring the world to its knees in a big way. And if you think about it, probably every person or every household in the world will have a Microsoft program of some sort. How easy would that be to switch off, eh? How easy? I wasn't really bad thinking about the power these people have got. Anyway, enough of the doom and gloom. What are we going to talk about? Well, future programs on the old uh, video front. I've got Crank Do done a few weeks ago. That will be coming up soon. I've also been up around Honey Hill. And uh, that was a fabulous one. Although it didn't work out the way I planned, it still was a, a good day out. Really enjoyed it. Um... I'm also going to be going to Craig, find Craig Moore in the middle of the forest. Got some tales to tell you about that place, which will probably um, make you laugh. Then I'm going to do the one of the biggest glens in Alamant, hopefully. That's the Dune Glen. And that is a beautiful, beautiful glen. That really needs to be done in the early morning because it's on the east coast. Catch the sun time. I like to do it when the trees are changing colour. So I think that's the best time to do glens. I've got a few more other thoughts. I want to go up to do the port or the point in Balaf, which is a nature reserve, and that's another one that's worth visiting. I'll tell you a bit about that, show you some pictures. Some of the ones I've done, as you, which you may not have picked up yet on the old video front, is um, the Blaber River and its walk, Glen Helen, Glen May River, waterfalls, um, 
Cool Dairy, which is a very unknown little glen, not far from here. And then we went to Ballasail, we went down to Thalukway, Glen Rushen, to Glen Rushen Mines, to Glen Rushen Farm. And I'm trying to think of others I've done as well. Oh. I suppose it'll come to me if I think about it. Oh yeah, Glen Willen Waterfall and Glen Willen River. I've done about, I don't know now, 30 videos or so. Haven't got them all out yet. I do enjoy it, but it does take time. Real thumb is it's a minute, an hour to edit a minute's video. So if you do a half hour video, it's like 30 hours video editing. It's quite tedious, I'm afraid. But I can't show it out of the draw file because it just wouldn't make any sense. So Penny and I are sort of uh, got some exploring to do over the next few weeks. You'll have to come with us, come back and check us, check up us regularly. As I said, all the lambs have been weaned down from their mothers. Sorted out next year's uh, breeding stock. Sold a few on. Um, they do enjoy the sun. We've had quite a lot of sun this year, although it doesn't feel like it. It's been a particularly um, warm up here a few days. And as I said, I am a little bit disenchanted with the world, really. We've had years of the Brexit where it was going to be our stock be worth nothing, you know, all come in, the cheap food, we'd be giving our sheep away, well it hasn't worked like that. Then we've had nearly two years of COVID and that was going to kill us as well. I don't know about these experts. As somebody said to me once, you know what an expert is, Ray? I said, I don't know. He said, it's a drip under pressure. And I thought, that is a pretty accurate description. Pretty accurate description. Anyway, I hope you're... Um, enjoying the world that you've got and I hope you keep well and keep healthy maybe we'll meet up again sometime who knows if, you're out, if I'm out and about and you see me give me a call wasn't that right Penny come here Penny come here up you go come here up up now look at the camera look at the camera just to prove Penny's still with me she's seven years old now as our Penny aren't you Penny She's got a brother in Canada called Fly. She misses, don't you? You do miss, don't you? Sit down and good girl. Sit. Penny. Sit down. So as I said, this is my last cup of tea for the night, otherwise I'll be up peeing all night. Don't want that. Some of the other things I've done up here, I've uh, put in a soakway for the dirty water because I don't want it running down the field or in the ditch, so that's going to disappear. Got to organise another toilet, which will be a dry toilet, they tell me. I'll never be able to live up here because it's far too exposed and far too cold in the winter time, but through the summer months it is rather pleasant, rather, rather pleasant to be here. I am beginning to, imp to prefer animals to people, I'm afraid. They ask very little of you and give a lot back. 